Hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padata RV Center and today we're looking at a 2005 Monaco Diplomat 40 DST. Triple slide, 40 and a half foot, 40 feet, 6 inches with a 350 Cummins in it. This is an incredibly nice coach for the year. It's on that Roadmaster chassis and we're going to give you a good tour of it. First off, we're going to start on the exterior, check out all the compartments, and we'll jump inside and see what the interior has to offer. Now, we just took this coach in about 10 minutes ago. This is the dirtiest this coach has probably ever been in its whole life. Been garage kept. The paint is beautiful. Some of the compartments are dirty, but I knew I had to get this thing shot and uploaded here as soon as possible. So let me open up some of these compartments after we do our four corners look, and we'll give her a good peek. This RV has three awnings on the passenger side. You have a door awning over there, an awning that's right off of this slide, and then an additional awning right here. These first two are electric. The one over the door is gonna be a manual, and I don't have this one out because we have a blown fuse I gotta replace. Like I said, it just came in, but I was able to get this first awning out to give you an idea. This one is dramatically bigger though. As you can see, your two main slides here on the driver's side. Now this also is a bath and a half model. And it's a great little floor plan for a 40 footer and you do have a nice window on it on that one singular slide. All right, let me open up these compartments to check it out. All right, starting on the passenger side here, let's take a peek. First off, check out the tire size. All right, what do we have? 275, 70R, 22.5s. I don't see a day code on that Firestone. So I will look at another tire. That is a lot of tread though. Seal fill right there. As you can see, your first pass through storage is a complete slide out. We'll go both ways. And then you have an area just completely open. Do whatever you want in there. You could put another slide. And these are, it's pretty interesting, these compartment doors. They're kind of like suicide doors. They open from the inside for this one. And that's how you unlatch it. Both sides, just like that. Then you got your 10 gallon water heater right there. Back of the furnace. And then outdoor entertainment. It's got a little multimedia player and then a couple speakers. Let's see if I can find a date code on here. 20, 23, 16. They're coming up on five years old. Five and a half years old. Next two compartments, you got your battery tray. You got six batteries in there right now and that will come slide out. And then you have your inverter right here, 2000 watt. Should have a 10,000 pound hitch here at the bottom and does have a seven pin connector. And this will also open Actually, I got my ladder here, but we will be able to see the left side. See, engine oil is going to be on the other side, coolant. And then let me show you guys the roof, too. And here it is. As we can see, double AC, a couple vent covers, local TV antenna. There's a satellite up there. You can see the top of all your slide toppers with those metal covers. And then, of course, you do have a backup camera. I'm sure you expect it, but this coach is full body paint. And like I said, the paint is in just such good condition. I don't see any fiberglass chipping, no, I mean, not even any clear coat peeling besides a little bit on that top rail. 50 amp power service. I can see your dump station next. And an area for the sewer hose, outdoor shower, a couple flushes, propane in the neck compartment. And then we got the other side of the pass-throughs. I shut the other side, but these were two full pass-throughs. Feel fill again. Same Firestone tire. And of course, couple fuse panels and some windshield wiper fluid here on the left side. And last but not least on the outside, Onan quiet diesel, 8,000 watt, a little dirty, but let me show you the hours. 327.1.
So there you go, there's a quick exterior walkthrough. Let me get all these shut, we'll jump inside. All right, as we jump inside, two exterior steps that'll come out electrically. Do have a screen door, and then a few more steps going in. We got our step cover right there. Power hookups for the little pull-out desk for the passenger, ceiling light, battery cutoff controls, and then on the left side, nothing except the passenger chair. Shut this door. And here's your first look at this coach. Like I said, it just came in, so that little stain on the tile will clean up. But overall, this is a extremely clean coach for being, God, what is it, 16 years old already? That is mind-boggling. And once again, it is a bath and a half, so you can see all the way down there, my reflection is the main bath. And then just before that on the left is your half. Let me go stand in front of the bed and show you forward. Standing directly in front of the bed, half bath right there, four-door fridge. Like I said, triple slide, but opposing slides up front, so quite spacious. Now, one of the best parts about this coach is going to be the mileage. It should just be over 22,000 on that 350 Cummins. 22,912, so just under 23. And a good strong startup. Leveling jacks. Unfortunately, manual, but no big gig. See the bubble right next to it. Mirror controls, battery boost, air dump. You can adjust the pedals. Does have an exhaust brake. 3000 series Allison. A couple shades for the front. And standard diesel dash. Air gauges, RPMs. There's that backup camera. Sorry about the glare. It's probably hard to see. And then you have your main. Of course, a little older style stereo, AC controls. It does have a couple drawers here and a singular cup holder for the driver. And then there is a step cover that will slowly come out over there. Oops, and that was me on the horn. There is an air horn. And then, like I said, passenger does have a little pull out desk so they can kind of relax, scoot forward. Oh, I gotta I need two hands to close that. Right above that little desk area, we do have a little bit of storage, an old style RCA TV. Probably upgrade that to a flat screen. For the satellite five disc DVD changer, look at that. And then check this out. Ooh, baby. VHS with your switch box. And then in this top compartment, you do have one of your awning controls, that front one. Now your seats. Let's try to slowly turn around here. Flex steel seats, of course. Driver is electric, passenger is manual, but they look, they look really good. I don't see any issues. Does have the extra cushioning, so they're quite comfortable. And driver side, same concept, minus it being power, or plus it being power. A little bit, uh, it's just a little fray on the stitching. Very nice. All right, so turning behind us, on our passenger side, you have your kitchen and a two cushion couch. It looks like a jackknife sleeper. And on the driver's side, your booth dinette and of course your pull out couch. Let's check out the driver's side first. So your slide goes approximately from there all the way down to right there. And like I said, it does have a booth dinette. You don't see the boost too often. Power hookups down there, of course. Three cushion couch, like I said, should be a pull out really good condition i mean this is all original furniture and no rips no tears i mean no stains you guys know all three of these overhead compartments do connect and you are going to have the same concept with the ones over the dinette but in addition to that overhead storage you do have your lower pullouts which are nice and deep that looks like an air compressor probably for an air mattress for that sleeper sofa all right gotta have that mirrored finish right there now your next slide for the kitchen, this corner all the way down, right there, right in front of those cabinets. And it does have the two cushion couch. Looks like it does have some storage down below. There you go. And then just release that and you can make that a sleeper. Similar concept for the overhead storage right there, both connected. And then of course your kitchen, convection, no oven, three burner stove top. Let me open up these compartments. And here we are. Let's look at all this storage. So this left side, it doesn't extend or anything, but you do have four drawers, all pretty deep. And you can tell these previous hunters had some pride of ownership. Look how intricately cut all the liners are. <laughs> They're perfect for these drawers. And it looks like 
they are all the same size and depth. I don't think the bottom one's deeper at all. Moving over to the right, look how big that is without the oven. Plenty of room to put an oven, and you do have another little shelf up there. Right below that three burner gas stove top. And then more to the right, sponge drawer. Some nice storage, easy access to that filter. Corian covers for your sink here. It does have a water spigot and of course a extension on the faucet. One the thing to point out, fake fruit, random cups, unfortunately do not come with the RV. Those are our staging materials. Here's your convection residential style microwave where it plugs in, a little bit of storage there. And then to the right, pantry, cups, liquor, something. I know you can figure it out. All right, and then we have your fridge just to the right on the driver's side. It is a four door Norcold, so you should have the ice maker and then a regular freezer. And then, of course, your reefer down below. We'll look at the half bath in a second, but we got to look at the pantry. And this should have a little thing holding it let me put you on pause figure it out sometimes reading helps got a little release right here very nice tall pantry pull out with the grates of course your bedroom with a pocket door prior to that just to your left here is your half bath Same Corian tops, China toilet. Storage down below, should have a medicine cabinet. Oh, there we go. And then just a little bit of storage right above here. All right. Now, your main bedroom, which does have a slide in here for the bed. Looks like it's about two feet deep. It is a queen bed. Small side tables on either side but not much. I mean, no storage, no drawers or anything. You do have the three connected storages above. And if I recall correctly, there was some underbed storage too. Now, let me turn around here and show you in front of this bed. They did <laughs> take out the TV like they probably should have done up front, but easy update right there. Four drawers, nice storage area there with a couple drawers. an idea of some of the sizes of these oh look all the convection microwave stuff and then you do have level testers slide controls ac thermostat all right there move on down a little bit looks like an area for a washer and dryer but it is not it is just some additional storage drawers and then once we get into your main bathroom here course the engine's on that's why you're hearing you got your full closet an area for a washer and dryer a very decent sized shower let's actually start there in the corner now that is a tub that's a bigger tub than you usually get but it is quite wide i mean you can actually bend down in here and wash the old ankles and then just to the left of that we do have your closet i do have to fix this latch but I'll show you the left side another engine access compartment And then on the right side though, it has a cool little extra storage area with multiple shelves. Latch that so it doesn't come flying at me. There we go. Once again, China toilet. Area for that washer and dryer if you wanted to put one in there. Couldn't be a stack unless you split them because you got the breaker box up here. step up little window little sink i love how they match the corian throughout the whole coach into the bedroom into the bathrooms now we are selling this coach i don't think i showed you guys my printout we're selling this coach for 69.995 and for an 05 of 23,000 miles i think that's ganga 
like I said, 350 Cummins. Let me go over some of the tank sizes. So of course, water heater is gonna be 10 gallons. Gray tank, 62. Black, 40. Fresh, 100. LP is 39 gallons. And then your fuel tank, 100 gallons. All right, guys, let me uh, get everything shut down and then I'm going to uh, put all the slides and show you how this thing looks while you're traveling. Be right back. And here it is. Both your front slides are in. As you can see, completely accessible. Everything, ha well, not everything. Half bath, fridge, couches. You could still get to the rear bath if need be. You just gotta kind of jump across this mattress. But still very spacious. I mean, you really don't even have to sidestep anywhere. This bathroom door will open completely. So very, very usable while traveling. If you're stuck at a Walmart and you can't open the slides, well, you'll still be fine. In case you're wondering, yes, I'm still trying to figure out how to get that in. All right, let me give you guys a peek from the outside with all the slides in too, and I'll let you go. Right, here is that passenger side where the uh, single slide is up front. And then of course, here is your driver's side for that had those double slides. Beautiful coach. Once again, 2005 Monaco Diplomat, 40 DST, 23,000 miles, 350 Cummins. We have this thing currently for sale for 69,995. Let's call it what it is, 70 grand here in Tucson, Arizona at Padada RV Center. I'm gonna put a link to our website down below in the description, including all my contact info, which will have my cell phone down there. If you have any questions, shoot me a call or give me a call, shoot me a text, shoot me an email, whatever's easiest for you, and I will reach back out as soon as possible. Hope everyone has a great holiday season. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that fun stuff. Bye-bye.